Good afternoon. This is Brian Split with Allendale here with your closing commentary on Monday, November 15th, 2010. We did have a uh, sharply higher day in the grains today, a lot of recovery after Friday's liquidation event based off of fears that China was going to raise interest rates. Um, on the corn market, we did finish uh, 21 and a half cents higher at 555 and a half in the nearby December contract. December 11 was up nine and three quarters at 519. On the soybean side, we were up 17 and a half in January at 1286 and a half. November 11 up 17 cents at 1194. On the wheat, we were up three and a half in the nearby December Chicago at 672 and three quarters. The new crop July 11 was up three and three quarters at 7.48 and a half. Uh, the trade that we saw today was actually very similar to the trade that we saw uh, from that October 19th and 20th time frame when China actually raised its interest rates a quarter percent. So we had the sharply lower trade on the actual interest rate uh, raise, and then the next day it was deemed as overdone, and the market was sharply higher, uh, uh, going on to make new highs after that. So uh, very similar trade today. Uh, the only difference is that China actually did not raise rates. Uh, all the talk was fruitless. Uh, the market still seems to be in agreement that they're going to raise rates but uh, probably not until towards the end of the year. So we're going to continue to see some choppy trade. Uh, this market is obviously uh, going all in in any direction based on any news that it sees here. So we can still look for a lot of volatility. And as long as you're growing accustomed to a lot of the chart points, there is a lot of, of uh, opportunity in these markets on both sides. Now, we did have the funds buy about 15,000 contracts of corn today after selling about 30,000 on Friday. So, again, a lot of these guys jumped right back into the long side. Um, we had another 400,000 tons of sales uh, announced this morning of corn, and uh, that's about two-thirds of the total sales reported on last week's export report. So that was a, a good amount of corn bought this morning. That is also supportive to the market. And we also had talk that uh, China and Argentina were in dealings for China to import somewhere between uh, talks of 5 to 8 million tons of corn. Uh, most importantly is the fact that China is into the corn market buying corn. And if this uh, rumor is correct, then that could potentially uh, push a lot of the other business back towards the United States since Argentina typically does not sell uh, uh, corn to China. So that uh, big picture is bullish. Um, we would suggest that you keep an eye on the 10 and 20 day moving averages on December corn near 570. Um, on the way up, we were buying against those moving averages pretty consistently. And just last week, did the uh, market start selling against those moving averages? So if we can get a little bit higher here, um, we'll want to see how the trade reacts at those moving averages. And a couple closes above those areas may uh, call for a test of last week's highs up at 605. Um, on the soybean side, we had some good crush numbers out of NOPA that did support the market. Um, also, we had 105,000 tons of soybeans so sold to an unknown buyer. Had some oil uh, also sold this morning. So some uh, good fundamental purchases to support the market. Um, we did have strong buying at the 20-day moving average overnight, which really catapulted this market up uh, at one point almost 55 cents off of the overnight low. Um, trade above $13 mid-session was rejected. So again, we may look for this market to trade uh, short term in a sideways range between some of these moving a averages looking for a breakout in the near term to happen uh, and keep an eye again on the um, on the 1250 area below us and uh, the 1315 area above us on this January contract uh, on the wheat we had a hundred thousand tons sold to Iraq and again that is uh, mildly supportive to the wheat market we are still watching the dry weather in the plains and uh, whether or not that's going to continue to uh, cause harm to the to the crop conditions at this point. But uh, we're going to look for, again, choppy trade in this wheat market, uh, potentially until the corn or soybean market makes a decision on which direction it's going to continue to go here. On the outside uh, markets, we had uh, some action in the meats, a little recovery again from last week's sell-off. Uh, one of the uh, features today was uh, some spread unwinding. Uh, we did have the uh, cattle market recover almost all of Friday's losses, uh, but uh, talk of increased feedlot show lists are helping uh, limit today's gains. It uh, looks like we did have cash beef, 
beef prices improving that was supportive with box beef up 96 here so um, we are still looking for some uh, higher prices on the uh, April contract uh, up to the 108 area next objective on the uh, fat cattle on the hog end we had uh, buying of the December and selling of the February and April contracts featured today uh, looks like the futures are still at a premium to the index, so that could keep these rallies limited, but uh, the index did move up 49 points, so if that can start to catch up, that will provide some underlying support under the hog market as well. Um, looks like as far as stock market, we've got uh, the Dow trading about 40 points higher going into the last uh, 45 minutes of trade. Uh, you've got the S&P up about 2.5 points and the NASDAQ down a point and a half. So uh, we are uh, retracing off of the early gains that we had uh, in today's early part of the session. Crude did settle two cents lower today. It's down about 35 right now. Uh, that did reject higher trade. Uh, probably the strong dollar also limiting the gains in the in the crude oil market. And same type of trade in the metals here. Had gold settle three dollars higher. Now down about three dollars. Had the silver settle about 15 cents higher. Now down about 30 cents. So again, seeing a little bit of uh, late jitters here with this dollar index staying strong. So that's your recap for the day. Again, uh, I think one of the things that you can take from this is that uh, we are going to continue to most likely see volatile trade. We've got uh, some policy changes p uh, currently being look looking forward to from China, and uh, we've got to keep an eye on this dollar index for long-term uh, direction for these commodities. So if you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-2-MARKET. That's 1-800-262-7538. You can also look at our research online at www.allendale-inc.com. And again, our conference is going to be January 21st and 22nd. So go ahead and give us a call and get yourself registered for that. So this is Brian Split with Allendale with your closing commentary. Good luck trading this week. Thank you.